hello everyone in the last uh, videos uh, we have seen uh, about the uh, variant that what is a variant and how do we configure that one and in the last class itself uh, we have defined the characteristics one two and the class we have written the dependencies as well and what are the parameters that we have considered under the dependency oh, this is my first uh, finished goods that i have considered the Bellino is my finished goods and now uh, in the second uh, part of this particular video in the variant configuration what we have to define we have to define info record we have to assign that in uh, you know uh, conditions uh, in the info record right so let's start with that and already we do have uh, this Baleno our material code so as we aware about that uh, to create a MIDI, uh, inf uh, info record we do have a T code of ME11 right now first of all we have to enter the supplier and the material now material is this Baleno now purchasing organization is BLPO plant is BLP1 this is my supplier 16821 now I have click enter and now I have in the purchase organization data plant delivery time is 2 purchasing group is Uh, let's suppose I am taking a 01 domestic standard 200 100 and new order quantity price should be 100 now we have to come to the uh, extra and we have to select the variant condition VA00 now here our material and we do have a three kind of variants three types of variants first variant is green yellow and blue this is a variant and this variant comes under the Baleno itself. I have to write the Baleno and Baleno the metal good is same. Now what is the difference? Price. This would be the price. Enter and this no need. Remove this one. Yes. Now I have to save it. If I will maintain over here, we can maintain. If we don't want to maintain over here, we can simply assign we can simply maintain in the MEK1 condition record, right? So that uh, whenever we will create the PO, that condition will call. Now, as we have seen, the VA00 condition has been called. Whenever I'll select the material Baleno with the blue color, the surcharge should be added with the 75,000, right? Now, I'll have to save it. Now, till now, it is, uh, I have just now, I have saved it and the info record has been created, right? Now, what is the next part we have to do? As we have aware, we have to check ME21N. We have to create a purchase order for that uh, so that we can identify uh, which is actually the pricing procedure is calling for that, which pricing procedure is applicable. Uh, BLP1, uh, PO quantity is 100, let's suppose. Let's say use quantity. I suppose it's a 10 quantity I'm purchasing. Now enter the purchase organization BLPO and A01 domestic procurement. It has detected the 10,000 USD and let us check it about uh, what we have to check the pricing procedure, which pricing is actually calling over here. As we uh, RM0000, this pricing procedure is calling over here and of course we do have multiple conditions over here applicable in that particular so as you can see the va00102 is also access not made initialized field right now what we have to do slash n m slash 06 we have to check va00 condition the variant condition click on and see on the details now the menu manual entry has a priority right it has to be applicable on the item condition amount slash percentage okay now we don't have to do any kind of changes in that one it is perfect 
and simply we have to save it now let's go to the another part all thing is done now what is the main thing that we have to go over here in the purchase order let's check it out no message comes to here configurable type select the color let's suppose i am selecting the green color okay effective price is this one the middle price is this why because see as we can see we have selected the green color and the price is 25000 externally added for that particular uh, variant if i'll go with the another variant i'll have to go to the material go to the configuration we don't have to select the green we will have to select the yellow and in the same manner we can able to identify that what is the price of that one now the price is going to be changed based on the condition now the yellow uh, because the variant yellow having the price is different and now the price is coming with the 50000 that means if i'll i'll make it easy i'll enter the one quantity i've entered how much this this is actually calculating on the basis of the exchange rate uh, yeah it is calculating on the basis of the exchange rate only so that's the reason it is bringing in the usd because why it is bringing in the usd because in that particular vendor uh, i do have the uh, you know the country is us and the price is uh, what do we call the price is maintained is usd that's the reason it is converting into the usd so whatever we have did till now it is actually working fine so what we have to do basically what are the parameters that we have to consider for that we'll have to create we'll have to create characteristics one with the uh, their variant parameter now we have to create the characteristics two with the basis on the basis of the data dictionary that we will take uh, for the mm side we use mm com structure and v k o n d field that we use and that we used right these are the parameters and after that we used to write the dependency after that after return of the dependency we have to assign that particular dependency in characteristics 1 2 and as well as in the class also after that completion of all those above uh, prerequisite what we have to do we have to create a particular material uh, to which the material should be in the configurable which i have explained in the last video and after that what we have to define we have defined the info record and we have assigned it the condition and we have checked the pricing uh, that with condition va00 condition is applicable on that variant variant condition after that we have created a po in that particular po we have to comes under the material section now even though as i can say you what the system used to give our system used to give a error uh, sorry warning message if i'll not select any configurable uh, system has already detected the conditions okay no it is no so i'll create once again m21n the same parameters i'll consider okay the material is the same and the plant to be same po quantity is one right and this one and this one is the one system has detected the po quantity uh, the inr price is 1 lakh rupees now it is given okay it is giving that warning message it's a below now it is giving the warning message that no configuration no configuration yet maintained for the material balloon because as the, this material is configurable so that's the reason it is giving an warning message and uh, no issue uh, we can we can able to convert that particular warning message into the error message also it is our call or it's a business call that uh, whatever they wanted to do if they wanted to convert in the error or the warning itself so i have already explained in the few videos that how we can uh, convert that 
warning message into the error message or error message into the warning message if it is a standard message right uh, but if it is a uh, what do we call uh, customized message we can't do anything uh, the abap team or the developer team will have to take care of it but as it is a standard message so we can take care of it right now the uh, next part is it is given no configuration yet maintained for the material so we will have to go to that for that material go to the selection material data now i am selecting the blue color it is giving an enter now go to the next it has faced the condition right as we can check it out in the condition the blue color and its price is 75000 it has been added that means 914 uh, 91463 usd right now so up to now this is enough uh, for the variant that is actually uh, what do we call the variant configuration and if you still have some doubt please uh, do let me know i'll help you out with that particular uh, variant con configuration right and i'm saving that uh, po po is going to be saved po is created right so as we have checked it up to now whatever we have did it is correct and uh, i think it is enough for today and we'll have to uh, i'll have to close this session right now because this complete configuration and the process has been completed and if you do have any kind of doubts please do let me know i'll definitely help you out with uh, this particular topic thank you thanks for watching my video bye bye take care